let's say you're starting out your level one, you're doing the flush animal. Is there a standard contract time, like is the standard contract three years or one year, five years? Uh, we, we do everything, but the, 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 the standard, what we ask first is three years. Three years makes, makes sense, because that allows the manufacturer to get, um, to, to, to build up a kind of a nice range of products, to introduce them into the market, and then after, after two and a half years, he will get a feeling, is it worth to extend the contract or not? But three years, I would say, for normal consumer goods is, is quite okay. not many which are not going down this path but um, there is many uh, who don't succeed okay. so that is uh, that is the truth uh, I mean uh, I I'm about I'm approached by by companies about five to ten times per month and they offer me their properties and I say no sorry the competition is too big and you're doing nearly the same or the TV slot is not right or whatever so most of them do because that I must also say that uh, uh, it's a bit um, tricky because some of them promised a licensing turnover to their investors, and I think this is quite hazardous. You know, I mean, you should. Uh, they, they, I mean, this is is something you can't really promise. Licensing is something you cannot plan. You know, there is always an emotional element in it. You can do your best to, to make it work, and you can work with the best people, but at the end, if it works or not, this is a few guess. Yeah. So, um, and I, I think, so I, I would say, I, I understand that uh, most of them, if they have a kind of, uh, if it's a kind of big production house, they do it all the time, produce content or whatever, they might have some basic structure, some basic legal framework already, and they say, okay, we give that to the agent and we try if he makes some profit or not. Yeah. But um, um, I would say, I mean, I wouldn't plan that ahead. I would just wait for how, if the property succeeds or not. Um, the risks. Um, I think I have to come to an end soon anyway, but yeah, we are really there. The risks. I told you before, artwork has to be ready in time, about a year ago, uh, about a year before a uh, product shall be on the shelves. The licensees need that to design the products. Um, the marketing department needs that to do advertising and so on. Um, the risk is product and retail cycles. You should not start a toy, negotiating a toy line in June because the big toy fair, the US toy fair and the European and the Nuremberg toy fair, they are in January, in February. Nobody will make a decision at that point. So you have to wait another half a year until they make a decision. That is one thing. Second thing is people need really time to produce and to ship and to get the approval and so on. Um, a very tricky thing that applies especially to film production or game development, things, release times uh, are postponed. And uh, this happens quite often. So let's say a minor production company plans the release for uh, October 2011. And they make a big announcement and every light, everything is coordinated and synchronized, the licensing program or whatever. And at a certain point they find out, oops, that is exactly a week before Disney releases the big Christmas special. So they say, okay, that is, that is a, a strong competition. So better we postpone the launch of our property and go to, to March 2012 or whatever. But this brings you in big trouble. Because then, at that time, uh, retailers already agreed to list and sell your products or license these products, and they want to have the money back and so on. That, that is um, something you should try to avoid if possible. 
competitive environment, what I've just said, I mean, there is, um, there is properties en masse, there is many of them, many are, of them are quite similar, you have to check that before as well, uh, if not some, someone else is doing maybe the same or kind of same. And the um, last thing is there is sometimes a conflict between the marketing department and the licensing department. I must say, for example, I mentioned these Kellogg promotions. You all know that cereal, the Kellogg cereals, and they, they sometimes have promotions with the logos and the announcement of an of a upcoming film. And the, the problem is that the um, marketing department wants to get them, have them as their client and they give the license away for free because they, are, look, uh, they, 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 they want them to do advertising. And the licensing department wants to have them as their client but they want that they pay minimum quality. So this is also conflicts which uh, are a bit tricky and uh, which need a lot of discussion and um, <coughs> consideration. So coming to an end, um, this is a tricky, a tricky business. It is a specialized business. Um, a game producer, a publisher, a, a, a f the manufacturer of fashion, the owner of fashion label, the, the a, a, a national sports team, or who, a, a toy brand like Playmobil or a, a sweet brand like Haribo, they don't have licensing as part of their business. So it's new for them. So they need to specialize in this area and um, it's always better for them to get professional help. So that means working with an agent. Um, but still then you can't plan if it is successful or not. The, the, the licensing history is full of surprising examples where some properties failed and others went up like a rocket. And Again, be realistic, try to make yourself some calculations, you know, and uh, try to find out if what you plan is really realistic, and plan well ahead. Take your time for this kind of business. This is this from my side. Uh, I thank you for your attention, but I'll ask you questions if there are any more. Please. Yeah. I would like to know, you said you have 120 Contract. We, we do about approximately 120 licensing contracts per year. Yes. Can yes. you will tell from the last year the most successful and the less successful? So to get an idea yeah, yeah. Um, we, we are quite successful at the moment with brands. Uh, we, we work with Playmobil. We are the, the licensing agent for Playmobil, the toy brand. I don't know if you know, you know that. And Haribo. This is, um, this is a good thing and uh, you, must, you must understand that Playmobil, for example, nearly every child in Europe uh, between the age of three and six plays with Playmobil. Everyone, nearly everyone in whole Europe eats Haribo or whatever. So the emotional link and the daily contact and the penetration of this brand is much stronger than a TV series or whatever. So this is, um, this is definitely um, 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 a trend. Yeah. And within the categories, I must say, we um, especially in the apparel business, apparel business, the clothing, mm -hmm. textile, mm -hmm. that works well. That works well over the last year. And food, food as well. So, I mean, you can really do, in the food business, you can do so many things. And that, that really also creates money. I mean, food business, we hardly discuss an amount lower than 50,000. But before doing food contracts, your property has to be strong. It has to be strong. This and comes in, the, as I said, in the third round. Yeah, the concern of uh, film business, books, TV series, what are the things? <laughs> um, books is, is a hard business. I think books, uh, it, talking about you and you, uh, I think uh, it. it uh, it needs time to get uh, to make the audience bigger and make it familiar with your property. TV series is also a hard business because it's so unreliable. You know, I mean, there is in Germany especially there's just three three TV stations which actually buy children entertainment. This is Kika.
Curry's League Junior and in the Super ATL. Um, you have to get a good slot in one of them. Uh, if not, um, you get lost. Uh, so I, I can't really say which one is best, but uh, if, it is a, if it is a TV property with a good slot and with a good airing and uh, um, if it's going to repeat it again and again, then it's definitely okay. It's a good, good thing. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I haven't quite understood uh, Haribo. When you say Haribo, I know their products, but are you actually making sweets in the shape no. of... Um, no, no, no. We be doing everything except of the original product. So the, we be not doing sweets. We doing bed linen, a stuffed toy, the gold bear, the the the, the, the character of Haribo. We do that as stuffed toy. All we right. do okay. radio controlled cars, and sometimes we fill the, the things with the original product. But we we don't. Same for Playmobil. Um, it's it's kind. Of, you could, they call it line extension. So. They, they extend the brand into different categories apart from the original product. Right, so it's the logo of the product, it's yes. not the actual sweetie. Yeah, it's the, the logo, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. And the brand name, yeah. Okay. No, no. I mean, our licensees, they are uh, local licensees. Uh, if we were. Um, German-speaking countries, or if you work in European-speaking countries, uh, European countries, then it's uh, they they're located inside Europe, but they all produce in China. Uh, okay. That's that's uh, that's what they do. <coughs> there's, there's a few exceptions, but the, the main business is China. How do you find A licensee? Yeah. A licensee, a merchandiser? Yeah. Uh, internet research and contacts, uh, previous contacts and whatever. We just, um, we, we have our databases. I mean, we are in the business in 30 years. We have our database. We know these people, you know. Otherwise, we have to find them by internet research yeah. or whatever. So, you do, um, which country you do for it? German or? Actually, we work worldwide. We have our core business in German-speaking countries, but we also work in Europe and sometimes also abroad, China and so on. Okay, then I would say thank you for your attention. I, I hope you could profit something out of this workshop. And um, yeah, if you have more questions, then just come here and I will answer them. Okay.